And what is up, guys? Your father's Miss TK here, bringing you yet another episode of Undertale. Alright. Let's get on with this. My new home in the ruins. Do you smell that? Surprise! This is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. And guys, I really want to make one of those myself one day. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. <laughs> I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold up on, on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. Go away. Okay, there we go. <laughs> this is it. A room, of, a room of your own. I hope you like it. No. Stress of goat noises. Something burning. Um, make yourself at home. Don't burn the pie, Mom. And this is Azrael's old room. <laughs> Look at the cool toys. They don't interest you at all. Let's see. Shoe should be in here. There's not much to do until the pie is ready. Although, I wonder. Oh yeah. I do have one shout out to give for this one so far. And it's to my dear husband, Samurai Ryako. Love you, hon. I'm a bad kid. Playing in a bake. Huh? I think you should play upstairs instead. Okay, so it is impossible to leave and Unless you speak to her first, but I want that pie. Let me make sure I have room for it. Yeah, I got room. Uh. Oh dear God! <laughs> I'm not flirting with her again. Hmm. Take a nap. I know it's possible to do like snail pie at this point. Let's see something. It's you! And I do wonder what this room is. But, I don't know. I know that's Toriel's room. Maybe she was planning on having yet another human staying with her? I don't know, though. I'm talking in one quick second, Mom. It's not a cupboard or cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. I'm so glad I'm not doing the No Mercy run, because if I was and I didn't know what was going on and I saw the red text there, I would freak out. The size of this pie intimidates you too much for it, for you to eat it. You're a small child, I would understand that. It's up already, I see. <laughs> I want you to know that now how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? I really hate doing this to you, Joel. What? This, this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear something about the this book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? <laughs> um, how about an exciting snail pack? Did you know that snails sometimes flip- Oh, that's a new one! 
I was expecting the one about snails make horrible shoelaces. Sometimes with their digestive system the signature. Interesting. But it's interesting go tutorial, but I need to get out of here. I have something to do. Stay here. Where even you going? I really do hate doing things like this tutorial. I really love her to bits. And honestly, Al Gore screwed up. I'm just gonna say that much. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? And of us lies in the ruins. A one way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Nope. Every human who falls down here meets the same fate. And I've seen it over and over. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try and do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. <sighs> do you want to leave so badly? <laughs> You're just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me that you are strong enough to survive. Okay. If I start crying after the, after the end of this battle, you guys already know why. I am going to give a shout out to the tutorials in my Skype group. You guys are wonderful. Keep up the good work. Now then. I just realized her eyes are actually kind of red. And it's actually a little cheap to get through this battle a little bit easier. Basically, if I get hurt enough, her attacks will stop. And she'll start to miss some attention on me. I think right now this is the part where her attacks will miss me. Oh god! Toriel, you're supposed to be missing at this point. Attack or run away. Oh! God damn it. Why are you moving this way? There we go. Basically, if you get down to 2 HP, he will not directly hit you. Fight me or leave. So I pretty much just came here and just keep sparing you. Stop it. I'm not doing anything though, Mom. You're the one throwing fireballs at me. Stop looking at me like that. That way. Really, for y'all, I really would love to stay with you. I really do, but you know how these linear RPGs are. Go away. Like really, Toyo, I want to stay. I want to stay here and eat little cuts and pie you all damn day. But I have to save you guys. I want you guys to be happy. I want to take you guys to the surface world. You guys are so nice. You guys deserve better than living underground. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. 
I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. <laughs> Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. No! <laughs> <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot even save a single child. Tutorial, please stop this. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small if you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectation, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I'll put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cry. I'm crying. Goodbye, child. I knew I would get emotional. There's an Easter egg here. Before we leave, yeah, before we actually leave the ruins, I want to show you guys something. And I just found this out recently, reading, going through the tag on Tumblr and all that. What we're gonna do is backtrack to the very beginning. There's gonna be someone there. Let me save it here. And we're gonna backtrack all the way to where the game first started. At least this way I can get some more gold before I go into the next area. Puzzles are pretty solved, so I just gotta just avoid the enemies, I guess. But. I always get emotional during the tutorial battle because, like I said, she reminds me so much of my mom. Sorry, I'm still kind of still miss my mom a lot, guys. The tutorial battles always get me like this. Every single time I've gotten to her battle. And every time I stared her, and we said our, when she and Chris said their goodbyes, I've always ended up in tears. This is one reason why I absolutely refuse to do the No Genocide run. It can't do it. I can't bring myself to her tutorial like that. But, let's get to this Easter egg, and I will probably end up the episode there. For you guys, no, not yet. Compliment. <laughs> meow. What type of fox is meow? Oh, you know what? It's, hmm? You're in what the? Oh yeah, I didn't compliment it at first. Okay guys, I'm alright now. I'm alright. I had my little moment of weakness, but I'm okay now. You know what? Let's just do this quickly. Yeah, let's get to this easter egg really quick. If I can avoid the fucking monsters. These monsters. Guys, you see what's like underneath Froggit that's blinking? 
Something's under there and blinking. I don't know if you can see that or not. Like I said, backtracking is a good way to stock up on gold at least before leaving the ruins. Plus, I can also get some spider cider. Nothing done. I'm gonna hold on to the pie though. He's free. Let's see. Like I said, this is why I cannot, you know, no mercy run. Because I feel so catch tutorial. Like, I honestly feel like if I was in Chris's place, I wouldn't even want to leave the underground. I would stay with her. That's how much I really, really like her. Oh wait, can I? Oh! Please don't even bother me! Wait. I got caught. There is a predetermined way of doing those. Alright. <laughs> can interact with the dummy. But yeah, like I said, Toil is amazing. I would definitely stay in the other ground if I was pressed. But then again, I guess she's right. That staying here would actually make it really small. It seems small, but this is what... Look where she is, guys! <laughs> she ran all this way to right here. Do not worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. So, guys, if it wasn't for Toriel, Chris would have been dead from the very beginning. And that's kind of... Which makes me wonder. The very first human who fell down must not have had those... Must have either had the flowers there or not. Let's see. Let's see if I have enough time to get back there before ending out this episode, because I don't want it to go more than 20 minutes. If I feel like it's going to go over 20, I'll save at the next point and end the episode there. Then kind of make my way to the next to the next area before then. I wish there was a way for her to run. Like, seriously. But yeah, so, so after leaving you to go through the door, Toriel fast traveled all the way to the beginning to water those flowers. Did <laughs> you see how long it's taking me to get back and forth, right? She must have some speed magic or something on her. And I doubt anyone that even knows that little Easter egg. Yeah, I'm not gonna make any time back, so we'll end up the episode right here. Alright guys, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Be kind to yourself and each other. Be the person that Toil believes you are to be. And with that, this is Miss 